they're desperate to keep Britain in because that's the, the idea. The idea is not to have uh, countries coming out, but to add more countries to it. Um, and I'll tell you, if the British, the British people vote to come out, the, it won't be left there. There'll be there'll be efforts to try to get another referendum to get a different vote. You, you, you know, that that that's a gimme. That is. And people, they need to have their backbone um, uh, in place uh, to, to not um, um, uh, fall for these things uh, and, and vote another way, because in the meantime, they've been frightened into. Um, changing their vote because of all the horrible things that are going to happen and what have you. And, and you know, make no mistake, they'll make it as difficult as, as they can for, for people in this country, um, it, 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 absolutely initially, to operate outside the European Union because they'll want to make things um, as unpleasant and, and uh, chaotic as possible so that they can come back with another referendum and people say, oh, no, well, let's get back in, let's get back in. The European Union is fundamental to this global structure. And so um, they're not going to let this go easily because it's going against everything um, that the blueprint says should happen. And the British people have a chance here to make a statement against this system. The British people have voted to leave the European Union and their will must be respected. The sun has risen on an independent United Kingdom. And just look at it, even the weather's improved. There are 17 million people that voted for Brexit. It's a victory for ordinary people, decent people. It's a victory against the big merchant banks, against the big businesses and against big politics. And I'm proud of everybody that had the courage in the face of all the threats, everything they were told, they had the guts to stand up and do the right thing. There is still a massive disconnect between Westminster, SW1 and real communities. And the, the, the one image I will remember throughout, throughout the rest of my life was a woman in Bolton grabbing my hands with tears in her eyes saying, why doesn't David Cameron why doesn't the government come and see what they've done to my community, what they've done to the prospects for my kids? People here don't understand. They're too wealthy. They don't get what open door mass immigration as a result of EU membership has done to people's wages, uh, to people's availability of getting GP appointments or their kids into local schools. This was the issue ultimately that won this election. So I'm thrilled that we've done this. Um, I believe the other big effect of this election is not what's happened in Britain, but what will happen in the rest of Europe. I mean, in the rest of the EU, Eurosceptic parties never talked about leaving the EU. Now they are. An opinion poll in the Netherlands said that a majority there now want to leave. To leave. So we may well be close, perhaps, to next it. Uh, and similarly in Denmark, a majority there are in favour of leaving, so we could be quite close to Dexit. Uh, and I'm told the same may apply to Sweden and perhaps Austria and perhaps even Italy too. The EU's failing, the EU's dying. I hope we've knocked the first brick out of the wall. I hope this is the first step towards a Europe of sovereign nation states trading together, neighbours together, friends together, but without flags, anthems or useless old unelected presidents. So what happens now? What happens next? Well, 17 million people have said we must leave the European Union. We now need a Brexit government, a government that gets on with the job, a government that begins the renegotiation of our trade relationship, a government that will be mindful that already many of the German car manufacturing unions have said, let's get on and do a deal. Let's go on buying, selling motor cars and wine and cheese with each other. But a government also that at the same time uses the opportunity of Brexit. And the opportunity is we're now freed to start making our own trade deals and associations with the rest of the world. We've left behind with this result. We've left behind a failing political union. We've given ourselves the chance to rejoin the world in a 21st century global economy. So we need 
as I say, a Brexit government. We need the negotiations to start as soon as humanly possible. We need to start thinking globally about our future. And the other thing I think that needs to happen is that June the 23rd needs to become a national bank holiday, and we will Thank call you. it Independence Day. Well, Thank you. Um, and I tell you, if the British, the British people vote to come out, the, it won't be left there. There'll be, there'll be efforts to try to get another referendum to get a different vote. You, you know, that, that, that's a gimme, that is. And people, they need to have their backbone um, uh, in place uh, to, to not um, um, uh, fall for these things uh, and, and vote another way because in the meantime they've been frightened into um, changing their vote because of all the horrible things that are going to happen and what have you. And, and, you know, make no mistake, they'll make it as difficult as, as they can for, for people in this country, um, it, 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 absolutely initially, to operate outside the European Union, because they'll want to make things un, as unpleasant and, and uh, chaotic as possible so that they can come back with another referendum and people say, oh, no, well, let's get back in, let's get back in. If someone asks me what is one word that describes the whole, you know, this whole control system and the, the thing that it's all about, yeah, I'd say to them, yeah, the F, four-letter F word, four-letter F word, that's the one. Couldn't think of a better word yet. Yeah. Fear. Fear. Because the control system cannot control us. When I say the few control them, they cannot control us physically because it's impossible. It's like 10 million to one. They just cannot do that. So they have to control us mentally by brainwashing us and by using fear. Because when they, they, they use fear, they put us at a low vibrational level, which that's the way we can be controlled, the planet can be controlled. Because when we fear, we get on our knees. And when we're on our knees, we, we, we're looking for help. Yeah? That's when we lose our liberties and, and what have you. We, we look to the government for help. Because, of course, you know, they're, they're our masters. What happened in the UK this week is just the beginning. The world is changing and all you elite establishment, ruling class, condescending Washington bigwigs who think you know better than ordinary Americans are out. Start packing. Your days are numbered. Now, I told you this election was a revolution, but even I didn't know how big it would be. It's worldwide. The headlines scream it. The working class who toil every day to pay their rent and put food on their families' tables are tired of being lectured by the fat cats in Washington and Brussels who preach what we need and when we need it. The Brits, in a monumental upset, made their voices heard this week, voting to exit the European Union. <laughs>